सो हाई गाइज माई नेम इज आयुष एंड आई एम अ कंसल्टेंट एट इमोसिव इन फूड टेक एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट द डिफरेंट क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग प्लेटफॉर्म्स अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट एंड विल बी डिस्कसिंग एवरी थिंग इन दिस वीडियो अबाउट दैम बट बिफोर डूइंग दैट लेट जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड वट एक्चुअली इज क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग सो इमेजिन हैविंग एन एक्सेस टू अ वर्चुअल डेटा सेंटर एक्सेसिबल फ्रॉम एनी वेयर विद एन इंटरनेट कनेक्शन एंड दैट्स द मैजिक ऑफ क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग you rent computing power storage databases and other it resources from providers like the ones we'll discuss today this eliminates the need of expensive physical infrastructure allowing you to focus on your core business and gartner predicts that the worldwide end user spending on public cloud services will be 679 billion dollars in 2024 and yes you heard that right now three major players control a large part of this multi billionaire cloud computing market and they are AWS, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud Platform that is GCP and these three combined make up a combined 64% of the cloud market share and let me tell you some basic information about each provider before we dive into the specifics around how they differ and what are the advantages so AWS it is the leader in the cloud services it is the oldest and the most experienced player in the market as it was established at the beginning of 2006 AWS has an extensive list of computing services with the functions of deployment mobile networking databases storage security and many more AWS is used by a wide range of businesses from small businesses to large enterprises second is Microsoft Azure which was first launched in 2010 from the Microsoft Corporation and it is the second largest cloud provider in the global cloud market Azure offers a wide range of services similar to AWS but specializes in windows based compute and works well with the other Microsoft services too and the third is the Google Cloud platform which was started by Google in 2011 and is the third largest cloud provider in the world it is also similar to AWS and Azure but it distinguishes itself through a focus on innovation and data analytics gcp's big query and tensorflow exemplify its prowess in data processing and machine learning while having a slightly smaller service catalog compared to aws and azure but still the question remains the same how are these three different cloud services different from each other and what are the factors that we need to focus on while comparing amazon web services azure and google cloud platform so the first difference is based on the data center infrastructures aws operates a vast global network of over 200 data centers spread across multiple geographical regions covering north america europe asia australia and south america they have the largest number of data centers among the three hyperscaler cloud providers On the other hand Azure Cloud has an extensive network of data centers worldwide offering services in more regions compared to even AWS and GCP although GCP has a less number of data centers compared to AWS and Azure but they are known for their high performance global network infrastructure Google's expertise in network optimization ensures fast data transfer and low latency connections making gcp a preferred choice for latency sensitivity application now let us compare their primary services in each of these domains i'll not be covering all of the services since there are so many services in each of these domains so in the compute domain the primary services offered by aws is ec2 in azure its virtual machine and cloud engine for google so basically all these three services help you in launching instance on cloud like if i want to run a virtual machine or an operating system without an on premises infrastructure you can do so with any of these services they have all the same idea same working with the same functionality just the names are different but there is one major difference that is the speed of launching an instance well if you try to launch an instance in three of them AWS will take around a minute to launch an instance in case of Azure it takes more time to do so but guys in case of Google Cloud platform it takes seconds to launch an instance and this is where compute engine comes out to be a preferable choice let's move forward to another domain that is troubleshooting the primary service provided by AWS is CloudTrail CloudTrail is a logging service any deployed apps on AWS with the API calls those API calls gets recorded in the logs of AWS and that can be traced and this helps you to troubleshoot your application suppose if there's an error you can easily troubleshoot the specific part of that failure in your application such operations can be done using the logs which get stored in your AWS 
and in case of Azure, you have an Azure operational insight, which provides you the similar service that of AWS. Similarly, in case of GCP, we have the stack driver logging, which again provides you the same functionalities. Our next and last domain is monitoring. Well, in case of monitoring, the only service offered by AWS is CloudWatch service. Using this service, you can easily monitor each and every resource or service running in your AWS account. It provides you every basic information like the amount of traffic coming to your instance, what kind of traffic is connecting to your instance, the performance of your instance and etc etc. And you can manage, control and monitor all of this using AWS CloudWatch. And Azure provides you a similar service called as Azure Application Insights which does the exact and same operation. Also, Google provides you Stack Driver Monitoring Service, which again performs the same and exact operation that of AWS CloudTrail. Now let's move ahead and check their pricing and billing models. In case of AWS, a very basic instance which includes two virtual CPUs and eight GBs of RAM will cost you around $69 per month. In case of Azure, it will cost you around $70 per month and when compared to GCP, it will be 25% cheaper because it will cost you around just $52 per month. Now the largest instance offered by AWS is of 3.84 TB RAM along with 128 virtual CPUs which costs you around $3.97 per hour and Azure offers 3.89 TB along with 128 virtual CPUs which costs you around $6.79 per hour and this is where Google takes the lead with a whooping number of 160 virtual CPUs with 3.75 TBs of RAM which will cost you around $5.32 per hour which I believe is much cheaper in terms of virtual CPUs provisioning as compared to AWS and Azure. So let's check what type of companies are using them. AWS is having more high profile customers like Netflix, Airbnb, Unilever, BMW, Samsung, MI and Azure is also not that behind as almost 80% of the Fortune 500 companies have put their faith in Azure recently. Some of its major clients are Johnson's Controls, Polycom, Fujifilm, HP, Honeywell, Apple, etc. And since Google shares the same infrastructure that of Google search engine and YouTube, that is why many huge companies are having faith on them and some of their major clients are HSBC, PayPal, 20th Century, Fox, Bloomberg, Target, Domino's and etc. And as we are at the end of this video, let's just discuss the key takeaways for each one of them. If we talk about AWS, well, it dominates every cloud service when it comes to features like configuration, monitoring, security, auto scaling, etc. Another important aspect is that they have mature infrastructure along with better offerings. And due to the more experience that they have, they provide enterprise friendly services, more open source tools, integration availability is here. And no doubt they have the global reach. And in case of Azure, well, it's more reliable when it comes to integrating with Microsoft tools. And also it ranks first in the development and testing tools. It provides hybrid cloud as well. Now for Google, since their expert is in DevOps, so it integrates majority of DevOps tools. They provide you flexible discounts and contracts and Google have specifically designed them for cloud based business. And now there are some of the factors on which we should not choose them. So talking about AWS, AWS is quite difficult to use, especially when you compare it with the ease of using in Google cloud. There are like overwhelming options for each domain, which actually end up confusing the clients and their cost management is not that good. In case of Azure, they provide less efficient management tooling. They are less enterprise ready. And in case of Google cloud, since they've entered late in this market, so they have less data centers across the globe and their services are good but they have fewer services and less features so guys it's up to you to decide like which one you want to use and guys that is it for this video i hope you like the information in the video and if you did don't forget to leave a like and drop a comment for any further inquiries and do subscribe immersive infotech and i'll see you in the next video until then bye bye